Good morning, everybody. Let me just move that there. It is Wednesday today, and isn't it nice to have a little bit of sunshine? We've been hammering it down with rain for the last few days. I think we've had enough rain now. Uh, hasn't been like summer at all for a, about a week, but it's so lovely today. Sun is out, the sky is blue, there's no clouds. So hopefully things are on the, on the turn with our weather. So what's going on? Morning, Jem Jem. You was up early today, weren't you? A little facial, that must have been like silly o'clock there. Um, so let's have a look then, what's going on with the planets today? We've got the moon is in, in Sagittarius, which is a fire sign. So we may be feeling a bit more adventurous, maybe feeling a bit more excitable, maybe feel like we wanna be traveling, whether we can or not, down to you. We may be feeling, like, funny actually talking about travel. I um, had to have some blood tests done today so I was up at six o'clock and she said, she was all there ready to give me my jab as well. And she said, oh, you haven't had your jab, I can do that. I said, no thanks, no thanks at all. I said, no, I'm not having it at the moment, I'm not having it. And she said, oh yeah, my daughter's the same. I thought, that's interesting. So you've got a nurse and then the daughter's not having it. And then, uh, and she said, oh, but um, it's all the travel. I think I only had it because of the travel. And I said, wow, I think that will change anyway. I think the um industry will suffer because it's all about money isn't it i think the industry will suffer and then within a year they'll be saying oh actually you can travel without the jab but you just have to have a test before or a test after or pay a bit of money whatever that's my personal opinion of it there so we'll see what happens with the travel but that's what i think so anyway so the sagittarius energy that's where i was going that's where all the travel comes in now um so it's still, um, yeah, it's still fun. Sagittarius is fun energy, but it is a little bit. Uh, con it connects with Saturn today, and Saturn is the planet of restrictions and structure. So you might find that you've got to put your boundaries in place a little bit more. You may still come up with lots of new ideas and and want to be expanding things under that uh, Sagittarian moon, but having to just tweak things a little bit or put things into some structural way for that. Uh, that Saturn connection there. And I'm just gonna to read to you what, what I've um, come across here. So it says here, let's have a look. The moon opposes Mercury, encouraging us to stay, to say how we feel. But don't forget, we've got Mercury retrograde still. Uh, well, sorry, in its post shadow. So what that means is there could still be words that get mixed up. Um, although we're coming out of Mercury on the 7th of July, there still could be things, technology issues or things to do with um, challenges communication, texts, emails, and anything to do with technology. So there's still a little bit there going on. But um, it is clearing, it, and some people will be more affected than others with this Mercury shadow side of it there, but it lasts for a few more weeks. Um, so it's, it's nice that here, it says here, the moon spends the day in forward looking Sagittarius, which is good. So that's all about planning, all about looking ahead, futuristic things a little bit more there and wanting to improve things, wanting to do good and perhaps looking to um, look at your philosophy as well, where you want to be growing your ideas, where you want to be growing your knowledge, Sagittarians, rule the house nine, which is philosophy, deeper thinking, deeper understanding, your learning and your knowledge. So you could be looking at how you can improve things on yourself, on a deeper level yourself there. Um, and wanting to improve perhaps relationships, perhaps will work, perhaps um, any, your health, anything there that is, that is coming up in, in your mindset as being a priority at the moment. We can rise above any problems or challenges with that Sagittarius energy, but we still do have that Mercury and Saturn conflict going on a little bit there. It also says here, later today with a Venus-Pluto um, opposition, we're confronting ideas and areas of our lives where we might be holding on to something too tightly for fear of losing it. There can be confrontations or events that bring complicated feelings and fears to a head. It's possible we make uncomfortable discoveries and while some of these can be ultimately helpful, we may be pushing too far for answers right now. We should watch for manipulative behavior that can arise from insecurities or fear or betrayal. And we're just building up into the full moon in Capricorn. So full moons bring things to light. Capricorn is focused and dedicated primarily in work, but uh, whatever areas is your main focus there, that's gonna be Capricorn's energy. So um, things come into light, you could find, if you do a bit of digging there, that you might find something comes to light around this full moon time. 
I wouldn't go digging, not with that mercury. I wouldn't go digging. I'd just be taking every day as it comes. I try and avoid people at the moment, if you can, or just try and avoid any challenging situations at the moment there. Um, and I think, you know, I don't know about you, but definitely me this last couple of years where it's been a weird this last year, isn't it? Been a weird lockdown and things. It's really made you think like, actually, I don't want any drama. I don't know if that's an age thing, but it's better not to be involved in people's stuff or not to be involved in groups or anything because it's easier uh, to be just ticking on in your own little bubble um, and being quite happy in your own little bubble. How many times have you been all happy and then all of a sudden you go on Facebook and you see something and then it riles you, it angers you and you think, oh, for fuck's sake, why did I bother going on that? Or you see a comment or you go on YouTube or anything and you just see something and think, mm. So sometimes it's quite good to have a complete technology break, especially in this Mercury phase. Sometimes it's good to have a, a break from everyone and everything there. And definitely I think the last year has shown that like attracts like and if we stay out of people's way you then can bring your own energy now that's all well and good as long as you're in a positive mindset i do get it where people have been low and down themselves so they want that interaction but it's about getting balance isn't it um and i do see posts all the time i see posts all the time where people are posting what their problem is, what their illness is, what their fear is. And you know what, it's just gonna, you're just gonna multiply it. You're actually adding to the drama. You know, even if you're thinking, well, I'm just trying to make people aware. People are aware, you know, they are aware. What you're doing is dramatizing your stuff. You're magnifying your stuff, in my opinion, there. No one knows what I suffer from. No one knows my um, daily struggles with my health because I don't tell anyone, because I don't make a big deal out of it. I just crack on with it but you're not, um, yeah, Gemma says, fueling it when you give attention to it. Absolutely, you're magnifying it. See all these posts and these all big, you know, I've got this and this and this and this and this. And then everybody else, oh, I suffer from that, I suffer. And do you know what? It's just like, oh, it's just a magnet for all that type of energy there. Do you really want that? Do you really want to bring that in? I remember um, working with a healer, say a healer, someone a few years back now, and um, she would put on there like all her emotional problems, all her dramas. And then in the next post, she'd be like, oh, I'm open today for some healing. I'd be like, what? Who the fuck wants healing from someone who's completely drained, who's got all loads of emotional shit going on? No, thank you. I don't want you touching me or coming anywhere near me. So I think you have to be careful what you put out there um, as to what you want to be magnified, what you want to be um, bringing in in your own energy there so just just a, you know maybe have a think about what you put out there because you do magnify it without a doubt and i know some people will say well you know i'm just letting people know um, and that is fine that is up to you but in my opinion it, you're going to increase it you're going to bring attention to it and possibly for the wrong reasons there uh, Sarah says, had some time off last week, was amazing, makes me think you need it more. Yeah, absolutely. And again, for me in that last year, I realised, you know what, if I can have a year off and survive, then I can have an extra day off a week and survive. And it's Wednesday, is my extra day, so it's today, and it's just lovely. Lovely, I had a huge admin day Monday, didn't get everything done, so I know today I've, um, I can still crack on and do it. I've got an exercise class booked, I have that every Wednesday, my little swim, uh, and it's nice. So it's, um, yeah, prioritising everything, isn't it? And people, prioritising people and prioritising your own energies and where you put it all in. But be mindful about what you share, I would say there, particularly if you're in a profession where you want to be helping people, putting your drama out there, I don't know. I mean, you probably get this, you know, you will get people, but you'll get those people that are like-minded. That's all I shall say on the matter. Gemma says, give attention attention to the right stuff absolutely absolutely and as we build into this um capricorn full moon that is all about that attention on what is important to you focus on what is important to you you know um literally we are what we think we are if we can create it in our mind we can create it in our reality there people know um i'm just gonna oh i don't want to upset anyone but um <laughs> i'm gonna i know i'm just gonna without being offending but you know, I see posts about fibromyalgia, people putting that out there with all the list of everything, you know, to tell people that they've got it. But they've probably already told people that they've got it. People probably already know. And then other people are gonna jump on that and say, yeah, I've got all these, I've got all these. And you know, most people have probably got something or other there. 
Um, I remember putting out a post about my thyroid gland, I don't know, a few years ago. And the amount, you can put out something really beautiful and then you get like a couple of people commenting. And then I put this thyroid thing and the amount of people like, yeah, I've got that, I've got that. And they, all their problems and all their issues with it. I think, wow, you know, that's exactly what it's attracting. It's just a magnet for all those type of, that type of energy that's, I'm not saying it's poor me, but I'm just saying it's poor me. <laughs> but I don't mean it like that, but you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just personally, I think some things you need to be careful about what you're putting out there if you don't want it to be magnified. And people say, well, I don't want attention. I'm just putting it, but you are putting it out there. So there has to be somewhere in you that wants people to know what is wrong with you. Um, for whatever reason, maybe it's people, you just want people to be aware of you. And that is fine. Obviously that is fine, but I don't know. I don't know. I think, I don't know. Let's keep it there. Right, let's have a look at your cards there before I totally um, upset anyone. And I really don't mean to. It's just my personal opinion. Right, okay. Morning, Shani. Morning, Amanda. Morning, Kaylee. Morning, Leanne. It's been a while since I've been able to watch. Oops, I've just done something there. And I've lost everybody on there. And instead, I've got some images. I don't know. Right, let's have a card for today. Because I don't know what I'm doing playing that. Let's press that one. No. I press that one, I'm gonna have butterflies or something. Yeah, look, butterflies. <laughs> Let's go with the butterflies, shall we? Okay. Today's card is the Hierophant card. We were talking about this in my group last night. So the Hierophant card, uh, the Hierophant is all about rules, regulations, and structure and conforming, conformity. Now it has a few different meanings of Hierophant, so it can be a little bit, you know, a bit challenging to understand. But the Hierophant is about rules and regulations and conforming to things, conforming to perhaps somebody's way of believing. So conforming to maybe spiritual beliefs, conforming to other religious beliefs, conforming to what your boss tells you to do, conforming to what Boris tells us to do, whatever it is, it's conforming there. Somebody's got, got the, uh, the hierarchy energy and they are making us conform or maybe it's you that is conforming others to your way of thinking there it's also about groups and organizations and collective people so looking at funny actually that this card's come up because i was chatting to someone last night who's building a new community spiritual community that i'm helping with so that's interesting so it's it's like-minded people whether it's just spiritualism whether it's christianity whether it's catholic whatever it's um, building a community with like-minded people comes in with learning because these guys here they've shaved their heads as in a, like uh, an honor to god to say yeah i'm i'm open to the service now and this rabbi pope guy he hierophant guy he is there blessing them ordaining them and letting them join in their group like saying yeah come on you know you're matched with me now come on uh, you can join this group and this organization so i have a look in your life of where you need to, to be perhaps joining groups. I've just said, haven't I, in my chat, like it's better not to be in a group. <laughs> but sometimes you can be in a like-minded, positive group. But have a look in your, um, have a look in your life where you want to conform to something, where you need to conform to something, or where you're trying to perhaps create an organisation or a group where people conform to you. This card is brilliant. If you've had a real rocky time lately, this card is brilliant because it says that there's gonna be calm, order, normality, whatever normal is. Normality is gonna to start to reign. Um, so it's great after the tower or it's great after you've had a rocky patch. It's the card to say, don't rock the boat. So it's not the time now, particularly with that Mercury energy, it's not the time now to start new things. This is a time of being, like staying in the status quo really, not rocking the boat, not doing anything out of the ordinary, just staying in what you know. So if you are wanting to do new things, and again, we've got the full moon, which isn't the best time to do new things, wait until we've got the new moon in Cancer in a couple of weeks there, especially if it's spiritual things, that'll be a much better time to launch stuff. But if you were wanting to do something new, go because we've still got that Mercury energy, go back over it. Make sure that everything is tickety-boo. I've literally just had today, was it today or yesterday, Gem, I can't remember, had my whole tarot course rewrote in, or not rewrote, but um, spell checked, shall we say, proofread. And it's come back today. So that was me going back over it. Not me personally, obviously. Terrible speller. But somebody 
on my behalf, going over it. So it's not a new cause, but they've gone over it and sorted it. And that's what the Mercury and that uh, retrograde last bit of shadow work is all about. And that's what this card is, is, is making sure everything is tickety-boo, everything is right before you want to change anything. But conformity, spiritual learning, spiritual teaching, looking where you feel comfortable within groups, not having groups where there's any drama, but having groups that you're all on the same page there. But staying, sticking to things, not changing things at the minute, sticking to things. So have a look where that fits in with you. And I, I have no idea who's on. I don't even know how to switch it back at all. I'm rubbish at that. So um, I'm going to pull one more card. I'm going to pull one of my Mystic May cards because I don't know how to change this. And I'll have to have a look back on it to see who's commented. But let's have a look at today's Mystic May card. Mm, it is a general one. And it says, trust your intuition. If it feels right, do it. But if it doesn't, then don't. That way, if it doesn't work out, at least it felt right at the time. There we go. That's the Mystic May message for today. There, trust your intuition. If it doesn't feel right, don't do it. Have a fabulous Wednesday, everybody. If you missed whatever I was chitting and chatting about, sorry if I offended anyone. No offence. Uh, no offence. Whatever it was. I can't remember the word. It's all like Mercury retrograde in my head now. But it wasn't intended. But, you know, there it is. My opinion. Anyway, you know that I am quite blunt. Have a great Wednesday, everyone. And I will see you again in a day or two. I am putting out details for my next course which starts in July so um, it, there'll be a link to Nita if anybody is interested in joining my next course then you can uh, email her and find out a bit more. Take care everyone, have a great Wednesday, bye!